Hey guys, it's me, Jess, and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be what I took to Plato's Closet and what they took. Hopefully they take more than uh, they usually take. So story time. I went to the bins today and it was not good. So when I go to the bins, I try to find stuff for myself to resell online. That wasn't happening. So my next go-to is to find stuff for other resellers so I can make mystery boxes. That wasn't happening and I didn't want to waste my time. Well, I started thinking, what do other resellers do when they go to the bins? And I remember watching a couple of videos where other resellers have gone to the bins and then they go straight to Plato's Closet. Plato's Closet sells a bunch of lower end brands, but it has to be on trend. And I believe that is kind of what I was finding when I went to the bins. So um, we're gonna see. And I have to preface that every Plato's Closet is not the same. So what my Plato's Closet might take is not the same as what your Plato's Closet might take. And so I am <laughs> relying on other resellers and most of them have said that Plato's Closet takes this certain style or this certain brand. So I'm hoping and <laughs> praying that they take those same brands at my Plato's Closet. So let's just get into what I got and I will try to put a smiley face if they take it and maybe a sad face if they don't take it. And hopefully there's more smiley faces than sad faces. So let's jump into it. So I'm trying to step back a little <laughs> so you can see this. All right, so Old Navy, I see a lot of Old Navy there. This is Old Navy XL. It's actually really cute. And I was finding a lot of Old Navy, which I wasn't picking up at first. But then I found this piece and this is the piece I kind of figured this is what I was going to end up buying. <laughs> I actually have another Old Navy piece that I was thinking about just lotting the two together. I believe it's the same uh, size, but probably not. All right. Hopefully there's not an issue. Okay. This has some gunk on it. So I'm going to have to clean that up just a little bit, but then it should be ready to go. If anybody has any tips on how to cut bangs, <laughs> it only takes like a week for my bangs to outgrow uh, my face. <laughs> this is another um, 3XL. This is, this is Chien Sheen 3XL. It's the curve line. Uh, so hoping that they take this. I heard that they do take a lot of Chien. So I tried to find some fun dresses and stuff. Uh, I did see a lot of Shein before I decided that that was what I was going to pick up. So I didn't go back. Uh, my bins is huge, if you guys don't know, and they're, they're only open for three hours. So it's kind of hard to go back through bins that you've already been through. Try out this brand uh, because I do have... That is stapled. It is... What the heck? Why would they do that? They stapled that. That's... I mean, Salvation Army staples. Okay, the Goodwill tag can't be there when I take it to Plato's. All right, this is a brand I wanted to try. I don't know if they'll take it because I always think of it as being more of a mature brand, but it's just a pair of pants. It's black. I don't photograph black items very well. It does have a fun little like a silk belty thing. It's a size 12. So hoping they take that. Okay, another thing I was gonna try out uh, this is Lulu's. I know they love Lulu's because I see it there all the time, but it's just a bra, so I'm not really sure if they sell just like bras. Maybe it's a swim top. I don't know. We're going to find out though. All right, I was going to resell these myself, but I decided I don't do well with this brand, especially in smaller sizes. Rag and Bone, size 26. Cute little jeans. I don't think they care about sizes as much as I do. Um, the the knee is kind of ripped. Not sure if that was intentional or not, but we'll see if they take the smaller sizes and the ragged bone. So I'm okay, gonna try out a winter shirt or sweater. This is a size large. If they don't take this, I will definitely take it back and try to sell it myself. It is pink, uh, Victoria's Secret. Uh, I kind of love the sleeves, love pink. And it's just like a plain V-neck, kind of oversized. A sweater, pullover, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> you guys, I'm so glad you guys can't see my pants because they're about to fall off. Uh, American Eagle Outfitters. I see this all the time. Uh, like, it's so cute. Like, it's embroidered. It has fun sleeves. Embroidery on the sleeves. 
So I did pick up a lot of American Eagle just to test it out. <laughs> you know what? If it doesn't sell, I'm just going to have to redonate it. This is my trial and error. So we'll see if they'll take this one. It is long sleeve. So, well, again, testing things out, testing out brands, testing out seasons. So hopefully they take it. All right, let's just stick with American Eagle. This is an extra small. It is a fun summer top. So this is just really lightweight. So I thought it would be fun to just try it. Well, probably less than a dollar and there's nothing wrong with it. So that's good. Oh, I think this brand is higher end. I hear people talk about it. I've tried to sell it a couple times. It just sits. So Parker, this is an extra small and it is a cute little, is it a dress? Is it a romper? It's a dress. Cute little floral dress. Another American Eagle top. Again, like I, so I don't sell tank tops that often, but they are super cheap if you get them at the bins. American Eagle. Hopefully I don't end up with a bunch of American Eagle. I just think American Eagle is, I don't know, in style or for the teens. All right, gonna try Target brand, A New Day. If this doesn't sell there, I am gonna try to resell it because I've done really well with uh, Target brands. This is just a fun floral maxi dress, more of like a summer dress because of the uh, spaghetti straps. I had a lot more stuff than I thought. So uh, this is BB. Gonna try this out doesn't sell well for me. It is like a velvet. Crap. The size tag isn't there. Do you think they'll take it? Ooh, is there a sad face or is there a smiley face on that? I don't think they're going to take it. Shoot. Well, looks like I'll probably be reselling this one, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. So you guys know that was a heavy one too. I hear uh, this brand is decent. W5. Got to take that Goodwill tag off gotta remember. All right, so just fun little tank top. Definitely wouldn't sell myself. I probably should have done the smell test on all these. Hmm. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not taking the time to wash them, so dang it. Didn't think about that, but all right, another Shein curve. Hopefully they love the Shein, because if they do, if they take all the Shein, definitely going back and getting more Shein. It's got a fun little cutout at the bottom. This is a dress, if you guys couldn't tell. Short sleeve dress, great for the season. Will be great for fall coming up. Green Bay Packers for sure, but I don't live in the Michigan area. This is a brand at TJ Maxx. I see all the time, it is an extra small. Uh, but I thought it was fun, a little tie-dye print. And then it's got the little bell bottom uh, jumpsuit, so fun stuff. I, I mean, great for the teens. Not for me, but great for the teens. See? Fun. Ah, there it is. The other Old Navy piece. Old Navy. Extra large. I thought this was so cute. Or, I want this back if they don't take it. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should keep this. I have sold Old Navy for like 12 bucks. So if I put two together, that's like 24 bucks. And the last piece I found at Goodwill, another Old Navy. This is super small, size two, but it is brand new with tags. Boyfriend short, retail, $34.99. And yeah, so this just got distressing. Uh, I think that is very in right now, so they will take that hopefully. And then I checked my own closet, um, and I think I bought stuff from the thrift store that I just never wore or maybe wore once. So I'm gonna add those things. I believe I got this in a blue box. This is BP and I thought they were cute. I think I wore them once. I don't think they really fit me right. So those shorts are gonna go. Another pair of shorts. These are athletic shorts, RBX. I just like the prints. Uh, they were very springy, but then I didn't notice they had these, these tight shorts underneath and they just look really super weird on me. I'm not sure that they are gonna take these, but worth a try, right? And then I have a bunch of athletic tank tops. This pink one is it's BCG, but it's a fun tank top. It's got like the little T strap in the back. Then we got a Nike tank top. It's just kind of dumb. <laughs> They're not gonna take this, I already know. Uh, there's too much peeling on it. Well, I'm just gonna stick it in there though. I mean, it's Nike. 
Uh, then I found a Victoria's Secret pink little tank top. Probably not going to take this because it doesn't have any uh, pink stuff on it. Like the lettering. So <laughs> why am I wasting my time? And this is a champion fitted little sporty tank top. But hopefully they'll take one. One out of the four. Let's see. Uh, an H&M top. I've worn a couple of times. But I looked back at a video that I was wearing this in. It's cute. It's cute. It's polka dot. But I looked like super pregnant in it. And I was not super pregnant. So that's kind of confusing. <laughs> so we'll see if they take H&M. And then I bought this dress at Uptown Cheapskate. <laughs> I bought this for like a dollar. So hopefully I can get more than a dollar for this. It's a... Uh, Sunday me something. It's cute. It's cute. I did wear it once, um, but I wore it without a bra and it was very side boobish. <laughs> so I felt like there was a lot of people giving me maybe the side eye because I'm 40 years old. I do not need to be showing my side boob. So I hope they take this. The last thing I actually wore to like a formal event uh it's cute it's cute but i don't go to formal events anymore uh, this is in focus which i do see a lot at the bin so i will be excited to see if they take this okay bonus <laughs> so i added a few extra things i'm about to head there now um so yes i am changed so i want to see how they do with men's stuff because i heard men's stuff sells like no matter what it is so we're gonna see if my play-doh's closet is like that so I have uh, some Nike dry fit. Here is one and here is number two. They're just blue and gray. So we're going to try those. I'm going to try this purse I bought on Facebook marketplace. It was like a lot. And this purse is an Aldo and I wouldn't sell this um, because I mean, it's in pretty good condition. There is, there is a little thing there. So, but um, maybe they'll take it. I don't know. And then this kind of ticks me off because I did buy this at Plato's Closet maybe six months ago. Um, so I bought them. Really cute. Steve Madden. Wow. <sighs> They're super dusty. <sighs> yes. So I bought them. I'm really excited to sell them. Steve Madden does okay with me. A little espadrille. How cute is this? So one's a size nine and one's a size eight and a half. Thank you. Thank you, Plato's Closet. Take them back. We'll see if that works. And then finally, <laughs> so I bought these North Face pants. Look at how cool they are. Um, so I, I dyed them myself, not knowing that I was going to dye them. <laughs> so there was a little pinkish on like the back pocket and I was like, oh, I know how to get that out. That color change thing that, that like grabs the colors. And I read the instructions. I actually soaked it by itself in this little color releaser thing. Um, they came out fine. <laughs> then I put them in the wash and it dyed them. It, it like tie dyed them. So it was just this, this little light brown color all over, <laughs> but now it's tie dyed. And I don't, I don't think I can sell these. Maybe I can, maybe I should just keep them, but I'm just going to see, <laughs> I'm just going to see what happens at Plato's closet. Maybe they'll be like, Whoa, these are super awesome. And give me like three bucks for them. <laughs> Also, just a few minutes ago, I had a memory come back of a video I saw and they said to clip the tags on the inside. I had no idea what that meant, but I looked on the inside tag and it has a date and I know they say you have to have more current styles. So some of these were from like 2011. I think I found one that was from 2008. So I definitely went through the whole bag and tried to clip everything. I don't know if I got to everything. Um, but we're going to see. Hopefully they still take the items and don't have a special way of looking them up, even if they don't have the date tag on them. And I don't have my receipt on hand, but this is how much I spend at the bins. And that was just one bag. I do have another bag, bag two, uh, that is full of stuff for uh, Once Upon a Child, which pays less because they're baby stuff, so less material. We'll just, we'll just see how this works and um, hopefully it's good. So this is the update part of the video. I took all my stuff to Plato's Closet and then they ended up giving me a whopping $17.60, which is not even half of what I paid at the bins. 
So that's a little disappointing considering I did take time to find the stuff and uh, it's a bit of a drive to Plato's Closet and then I had to wait an hour and a half but I just drove home because I had to go back to work and then I had to go back so I mean I probably spent $17 in gas, not really. Anyways, if you guys weren't paying attention, which I know a lot of people just listen to the video, they don't necessarily watch it, um, I'll let you know right now. So they took six items. The items they did take were the two men's Nike polo shirts. Those I ended up getting at the bag sale, so I paid a dollar each for those. They took the Old Navy denim shorts that were brand new with tags, so they'll take new with tag items. Those I ended up paying probably a dollar for at the bins. They took my BP shorts, which I got in a Goodwill blue box. It was a mystery box. I ended up paying like $5 per item, but I did get some use out of them. So I'm technically gonna call that free. And they took that Japaya. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. It was the blue tie dyed jumpsuit uh, that they sell at TJ Maxx. So note to self, they like tie dye. They may like Japaya or any TJ Maxx brands. Although they didn't take the W5 and I know they sell that at TJ Maxx. So, hmm. And then they took the Aldo bag, which <laughs> it had a scratch on it. Like it was like rubbed off. So I'm surprised they took that because it did have a defect. So they take purses. So that's good to know as well. So a 1760 is what I ended up paying. They took six items. So if we divide that out, it comes out to $2.93 per item, which really isn't a lot, but you know, you're not expecting a lot from Plato's Closet. So all in all, I don't know that I will be trying that again unless I find like a ton of men's Nike stuff or a ton of brand new with tag stuff that's super light. Also with the stuff that I have left over that I got back from Plato's Closet, I will be listing some of it. Like I'm going to list the Shein dresses because I actually sold a Shein dress for like $19 on Poshmark a while ago. So I'm just gonna give that a try. If I get like 10 bucks, I'll be good. Also, I'm going to list the Old Navy dresses because I've also sold Old Navy for like 15 to 20 bucks. So again, I will give those a try. But the rest of this stuff will probably go to my local church bag sale where items go directly to the needy if, if they need it. And then people can come in and purchase as well, which I do. And all the money, like 100% of that money will go to mission services for the church. So I'd rather support them uh, by donating my items and actually shopping there as opposed to giving Goodwill's CEO uh, like 90% of the money. I will still shop at Goodwill though because <laughs> I can find some good stuff there. So that was my experience selling to Plato's Closet. Again, I probably won't do it, but I am going to do another video on selling to Once Upon a Child. I've had super good success there. I've made over $100 a couple of times on from my daughter's closet and from the bag sale where I pay literally less than a dollar for items. So I have a ton of stuff to take to them. So super excited to try that. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that video. And hopefully I can recoup that 50 some dollars that I ended up spending at the bins because I did grab some stuff for that video at the bins as well. All right, if you stuck it out the whole time, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.